first of its kind, the first dome anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. anywhere and everywhere, folks. Welcome to Dome, the number one greatest freestyle comedy uh, podcast on the planet. I'm Alex. We got Dave across. Dave, why don't you finish this intro? Like and subscribe on YouTube, and if you enjoy this, <laughs> you'd probably enjoy the content over at patreon.com forward slash Dome with Banful Mania. We got a special guest, Kobe Jones. What's up, dude? Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, guys. I feel like off the top, I want to ask you about touring with Modest Yahoo because we're both oh. big fans, and nice. my first concert that I paid money to go to was a Modest Yahoo concert. What? He had already fucking shaved, and in, wow. my, in my head, he was a fucking... Semitic, you know, uh, yeah. he was full Orthodox, and I'm Palestinian, and I was still a fan. I was like, "Fuck it." Wow. Wow. Um, he brings people together. Yeah. yeah, one day, you know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> That's one of the most yeah, yeah. unity songs and ever. And I, I mean, I'm not like a diehard, but you know, there's a couple albums where I was really tapped, and we're both uh, fans. So, what was that up? Man, that was crazy. I've actually been a fan of Matas Yahoo since I'm like, you know, a kid, twelve, thirteen. Um, and as like a Jewish kid, that's like one of your, you know, idol, especially if you like music. Sure. Um, is that, is that, so that's a thing. Like he really, uh, he, he got that demographic on lock for sure. Yes. But what was interesting is like, I grew up pretty religious. And so in my boarding schools that I went to that Damn. were very religious, they actually didn't really allow you to listen to Modest Yahoo. Even and, though he's fucking yeah, Jewish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it was like, it wasn't really for the Jewish uh, community. It was for just everyone. He was just know? a Jew. Just making beatboxing like, his yeah, way yeah. through the Torah. Making reggae music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, damn, um, that's good. We're, we both have uh, boring Christian religious backgrounds. And I went to a <laughs> Christian boarding school, um, although they let us listen. Here's the thing about being uh, Christian. Uh, you like, you. there's a lot of Jewish uh, words and symbolism that you still like cling to and love. And Christians in church always go over to Israel and stuff yeah. as like their own little right, pilgrimage exactly. and shit. <laughs> And so I was like listening to Modest Yahoo and I'm like, the lion of Zion is crying. <laughs> this is this might as well be Christian, you know? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's all like, you know, the basis of all, all that is pretty much the same. I feel especially like in reggae music. Jew, Jews are more like able to just be culturally Jewish and not have to be like because it, it's it's the only place where Religion and culture overlaps And yeah, in other situations There might be big gaps Where you might see that shit and think it's cap But nah, it's reality I'm salivating, G Reality, actuality I'm not out with my pals in Palestine No, I'm over <laughs> here palling around in Israeli with Madis And uh, I'm drinking a Yahoo It's ta Tati Hey, I'm in Jerusalem. Hey, a couple bitches. I got a few of them. Ooh. Hey, yeah, ain't nothing new to them. Nope. You know how I do it. Circumcision, new to them. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying the breeze with a couple of BBs down in Tel Aviv. Yeah, it's the bees knees when I'm eating something uh, spicy like the hummus with the beans. I'm late for my bris. Can't wait for the bris to give it a kiss. You know what I'm saying? I hope he miss. Uh, it's too early for this. I can't believe that shit. <laughs> Yo, hard, hard <laughs> Jewish oh raps God. off the top. Dude. <laughs> that was crazy. Hell wow. yeah, dude. Welcome. Thanks for <laughs> thanks for being on the show. I didn't know if you were Jewish or not 100. percent so I was like, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh, but yeah. this is yeah. it's it's good. Uh, is All that? Right. Do you feel like? Um, it, it, was there like a Jewish connection with Modest Yahoo, or is just he just fuck with your music? Um. Well, I'll I'll tell you. Basically, I've I've somewhat known him for a long time. Oh. Um, not so close, but we got a lot closer on tour, but, um, my, my connection really to, to going on tour with him was my brother-in-law, um, shout out Dove. He's in a sick band called Distant Cousins. Um, and the best kind of cousins. Yeah. The best, the best <laughs> kind. And they basically were the opening band for Matis Yahoo on tour. Um, and I basically went on tour to do a couple songs during their set the opening set but when i came i had a feeling that matis would call me up and so every night i did a couple songs during matis's set damn um, he just was like fucking you could sense 100 he had his judar <laughs> yeah he, no he it, was sick. The it was really sick we're actually going on tour again december 10th um, damn to the west coast yeah that's, that's awesome it. uh so he's got he's got new music he's fucking i listen to your music 
Oh yeah, I, I fuck with it, dude. Thank you. I was. Thank um, you. We have a lot of different people on here, different genres. So sometimes I'm like, yeah, it's cool, it's whatever. But you had a couple hits this year. Like I, I like to listen to the new stuff so that I'm like, all right, is is he popping from before or is it currently hot? But like I like that song, drums. Thank you. I like Euphoria. Euphoria is really cool. Wow. Thanks. Yeah. I, you you sound a lot more nasty, trappy than I expect you to be based uh, on your appearance. The, the uh, range thanks. is also impressive, too. You've worked with a lot of different artists. Yeah. And some of them huge, too, yeah. I feel. And, and uh, like, those are all great. Like, you're, you're uh, making the beats, I assume, or what? Yeah, it depends really on what the record is, but making beats and writing lyrics or one or the mm. other, like, depending on what record it is. That's cool. I think writing lyrics, that would be a fun gig. It's kind of fun because there's a lot less pressure of like what your character is because you might be able to perceive the other person's character and how they say things better than yourself like sometimes you're like yeah i could say that but then you sound like a dumbass but when, yeah. you, when you write for somebody else you're like oh they could say this and it's cool and then if they doubt it you're like nah i believe me bro yeah absolutely. i believe me <laughs> it's kind of like acting in a way like taking on different roles well yeah, yeah but in order to be an actor you have to like be a dumbass <laughs> For some Do reason, I, I don't know. I, I, I swear most <laughs> actors that I see in interviews are just the most vapid and aloof people ever. I feel like that's a, obviously a generalization. <laughs> uh, we have, friend, right. we have friends right. that act and we respect them. Um, Shout out. I think, I, think there's, I think there's just uh, a stereotype of actors being dummies because they often are aesthetically pleasing people. Right. And those yeah. people tend to like yeah. not be challenged intellectually as often. Um which is it's a, harder to take their opinion seriously. Right, because you're pretty. It doesn't right. matter what your opinion right, is. Exactly. You're fucking hot. It doesn't exactly. it cancels out. <laughs> I'm so hot that my thoughts don't matter a lot to the thoughts that I encounter in the street. You got different opinions that don't really matter, don't concern. I'm speaking words that end up in an urn. And I just learned why nobody takes me seriously. <laughs> it's because I'm so H O T. I'm a hot little piece. Yeah, they wanna all, all meet me. Hey, I'm trying to be serious, so I'm asking. Why don't you take me there? It's cause I'm acting. Shit, what I'm bringing back in is the Mackin. You know how I'm doing it. I'm attacking. E. I'm way too pretty to be witty. Yeah, you know me. I'm walking around with my titties out through the city. Uh, it's not pretty when you see me do it, but screw it. I'm a fucking got it and I flaunt it. I know you want it. Damn, mm. y'all are killing. <laughs> I don't know. You think we are? Uh, yeah. I do. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just made a banger in like two seconds. Boom. You know who that is? Who's that? Kyle, the fucking producer. Oh. <laughs> There's, he, he's a fucking uh, YouTube producer who made a plug-in once, and then he was running fucking YouTube ads. The, the ads were so yeah, corny. Yeah. So it would just be him fucking with this plug-in, and then as soon as he applies it, he says that. <laughs> I've made a banger in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you ever thought about like, because I know like you you make like content for Instagram and stuff, but have you ever thought about making like other content on YouTube? Like fucking... I don't know, because I've, I've seen you talk about music industry mm, shit, and I feel yeah. like that's a lane that you could you could be going off on YouTube, making content about why, I don't know. You, you have a deal? Like some type of record deal? Not at the moment. But you, you've had something. I work with labels in different capacities, and I've come close a couple of times to signing this or that. But you're like a 1099. With oh, label. What you, like uh, your contract. Yeah, exactly, exactly. At, at the moment. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Sorry, I got to get up on, on my... Um, <laughs> no, but didn't, didn't mean to kill your flow there. No, no, no. Um, you know, people basically been telling me they like when I talk about music shit. So a good friend of mine who's like popping on, starting to pop on Instagram um, suggested that I, I like go a little bit in on that um and so that's that's what the recent content is it's a reaction to what he said to you like yeah okay, yeah right. and a couple other people like i got random texts from people i don't even talk to that often who were like uh this is yo, i really like when you do that mm -hmm. um so i don't really like doing it to be honest oh you think it's corny yeah it's um, it can be corny but you could overcome that i think like i think if you yeah. just like uh maybe try to not be so serious 
I know. Because you're not serious. I know. In the music, you're funny. Yeah. Well, in the music, I'm like half serious, half funny. I mean, there's a lot of humor, like humorous type of lines underneath. But Sure, yeah. um, It's, yeah, it's interesting. I'm kind of funny, but I'm not like a silly guy necessarily. Sure. I'm I'm a very fun person, but it's I guess I am kind of silly in person, but on the internet it's I don't know, it's hard for me to people have always said it's really hard for me to translate my personality online. I think it's which has ma- been a problem. I think it's me. a matter of reps. You got to like, right. like push-ups? You, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you do you're doing content push-ups. You got to find your voice and it's the same thing with like uh comedians. You see dudes on stage the first couple years and they sound weird and like not really uh themselves 100 percent. and then after a while you start to sound like yourself and uh i think it's the same thing on here like you kind of did it with music so oh yeah i really should you know be able to i don't know why I... it's a, it's the exact same thing with music the first few years you sound like you're imitating whoever you fucking are really into yeah. and then after a while you sound like yourself you did a nice... yeah exactly so i just think of it as a little corny but Hopefully I'll be able to. Well, maybe it's a matter of finding like some shit that really pisses you off. Like for me, mm. whenever you're saying, I, you're saying the like having that type of strong reaction is better. It would just you can't just be talking about a subject because I do get pissed off. <laughs> exactly. So like some shit that you see a rapper do that you're like, yo, this is dumb. Yeah. Here's why it's dumb. Yeah. Then that's really going to resonate with people. I block people that I followed at some point. <laughs> Every day, because I'm like, I don't ever want to see this ever yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, no, and I totally. could, and I could react to. I mean, I guess it's offensive to react to nah. somebody that's in your following, but you could just react to bigger people. Blocking is great, and it helps like cater your feed. You can t- completely eliminate all negativity from any of your social media just by freaking blocking yeah. and muting. No, absolutely, <laughs> man. I'm just trying to protect myself. Like, I just don't want to ever feel the way that this person made me feel. I don't ever want to feel this way again By my family, by my people, by my friends And especially by some goddamn stranger Stranger danger, yeah, you is a lame nerd I don't ever want to feel like I did that day Like I'm Anthony Kiedis under a bridge way And I'm on Instagram, I just want to go eat some ham I just see this post and I want to die, huh? I'm about to block your ass. Block Ayy, yeah, I can take your fucking ass. Ayy, yeah, I do blog on Instagram. Ayy, when I'm smoking on, I think that Instagram. Yeah, you the post, muse the stories. Yeah, you know me you. when I see you, yeah, it's hoary. Yeah, yo, when I fucking see you, I ain't horny. I'm abhorring <laughs> everything you do. Fucking screw you, mute. You mute too. Hey, hey. Mewtwo strikes back. <laughs> ah, it's, it's not even. It's not even a hateful mute. It's just like a. I'm done with this. <laughs> no, I agree. It's like a. Uh, nothing because the block is almost a little more aggressive. It's but like the mute is like. Look, I got nothing against you. You're obviously doing your thing, but it's not my thing. I just don't ever want to see it ever again. We're on- <laughs> I unfollow people all the time. Uh, man, unfollowing is. Um, it's it's a more serious step. Is it? <laughs> well, you know, it's like. Uh, they may eventually notice that you've unfollowed them. Yeah, usually, usually they do, but it's usually people I just don't interact with. That's a good point. And and if you if you don't really take it seriously, it's like the problem is I've unfollowed people and then I come back and follow them again in fucking two years. I hate I've that. I've done that before, but that's fine. <laughs> I think that's fine. Like yeah, you, whatever. You came back into my realm. Now I'm interested. I'm back on you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you fucked up earlier. You were doing some weird shit. I wasn't vibing with it. Exactly. But that's now I'm in the mood. Maybe that's why the mute makes sense. Because I may come back around. Yeah, maybe I should start muting. It's a good move. I don't think I've ever muted. It, ever. Ever? Really? Yeah. Like, the bulk of my people are muted. Really? It's kinda <laughs> nice. Yeah, I mute everyone. <laughs> like, Instagram is often like, you've, you, you're you all caught up. It starts showing me other... Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I get, I, most of the shit in my feed is not even people I follow because I've already closed <laughs> yeah, out everyone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just I, random. I think this is done, guys. I'm putting it down. I Toss put it out. It. Um... Can you play a video for us real quick, Alex? Yes. Um, hopefully. Uh, it's on the drive. It's on the dock. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's the Banfamania yeah, one. Yeah. He needs. Oh, shit. Why does it keep going? Oh, and welcome to the Half in the Bag commentary the track hell? for Ghostbusters <laughs> Peace Sign. 
No. What is that? We're so, gonna get copyright claimed by Red Letter Media. No, it wasn't. It wasn't long enough. I think you're okay. Yeah, go to the doc. It's okay. the the second one. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I, there we go. Boom. By Boom. the way, the these shades are prescription, so I have to look kind of like this at the screen, so I can like. <laughs> That's see. perfect. I'm, that I'm fair enough. enough. It'll, it. That'll look good, better for the for the listener <laughs> when they're looking at you. I mean, the viewer. Uh, the first one. <laughs> This is this is a song, by the way. Okay. But it's not a copyright song, so I think we're gonna be okay. It's not giving me the. It's not option. giving you the option to play. What the hell, docs? Ah, dude, is it is it not gonna let you play no, it's it? Just technical difficulties. My phone's oh, it's it's out. because fucking Samsung is just being weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe maybe it's not meant to be. You gonna try again? See. See what happens, dude. This video has been stuck in my head. Basically, I'm gonna I'm gonna describe it for you until it works. Okay. Um, these three like little people from like how little? No, okay. No, no, like fucking <laughs> Brad Williams little. You know what I'm saying? Like they're they're small people. They're dwarfs or whatever the fuck the term is now. Um, here we go. It's working. It just sent me to Instagram. Though. Well, that's the point. Or what if I send it to you in Instagram? I mean, what are you going to do? This shit happens. Look at these boys. <laughs> this has 40 million views, by the way. Wow. As it should. I, I want to sample this. It's kind of crazy how they, they sound exactly how I would expect them to sound. <laughs> They're killing, dude. Oh, my God. I want them at my wedding. That's really, it's a really good wedding song, actually. Walking down the aisle as she's walking down the aisle. Yeah, dude. <laughs> They're going to hit a na- nasty one right now. Watch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Did you see him like sort of be like, yo, chill out? <laughs> yo, I'm ready to rewind a bit for that. guy in the middle is like, yo, chill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Let's just say these dudes are killing it over in Thailand or wherever they am. Yo, we got three little guys, three little mans. Got the mics in their hands. Got the smiles on their face. It's the plan. Could be Thailand, Vietnam, Singapore. Uh. Yeah, these dudes, they be singing and they poor. And they're poor. I assume because they look like they from a place where it don't really money, don't bloom. No. Nope. Hey, that's my people and they real little. <sighs> yep. Hey, the way they sing Christina Aguilera. Ooh. Hey, you know what I'm doing? Yeah, like, it don't fit Hey. Yo, put them pushing in the middle. Ooh, they are Pecane, yo, and I'm going insane, bro. Looking at these three dudes, yo. I don't mean to be rude, bro, but can I get them for my show? <laughs> um, speaking of foreign lands. This uh, podcast is genius, guys. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell we, yeah. we agree with you. <laughs> Just made a banger in like two seconds. Use it again. Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to oh call this episode God. Kyle Beats. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, uh, speaking of foreign lands, okay, good. While the segue here, uh, do you guys know who Johnny Somali is? No, it sounds familiar. Sounds a little familiar, but yeah. maybe just because it rhymes. Do you guys know what IRL streaming is? Like in, in real, real life streaming? Yeah, like the guys that just, yeah, like the walk little, around just filming everything all day like that. Um, there's this guy named Johnny Somali who he goes to foreign countries and is a total asshole. And like he's completely racist, and so he was just in Japan, and he's like, on uh, well, this was like, is he black? Yes, his name's Johnny Somali, man. <laughs> no, no, I'm just making sure. I just I thought maybe that's a streamer name, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> well, a non-black guy using Somali in their name would be pretty brazen. You're right. Brazen, you're but, right. Could be yeah. like an Italian guy. You're right, Salami. Johnny Somali. <laughs> <laughs> he meant salami, but he misspelled it. Yeah, because he's, he's a dumb Italian. <laughs> 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 Hell yeah, dude. Um, uh, yeah, so so uh, he's in Japan, and there's, I guess, so Japan had a war with Korea, apparently. I don't know. 
like a don't, long time ago. Don't take ago, my word for it. Japan had a war with Korea, and apparently Japanese people had a bunch of Korean sex slaves. And long after the war is over, there are these monuments uh, of the Korean comfort women to honor them and the atrocities that they endured. And this dude, Johnny Somali, is like going up and twerking on them and like licking them and kissing them and Damn. shit like that. <laughs> and so uh, this is in Japan. Then he goes, he, he, Japan hates him. So he's like, he flees Japan to Korea. Korea, where this is South Korea, of course. I don't think he'd ever. Why are you that. clarifying that? Well, <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair point. Um, the good Korea, you know. <laughs> no, uh, the, so he's in uh, South Korea, where the comfort women are from. So it's basically open season on Johnny Somali in Korea, and I think I got a, a video. Oh, here. sick, dude! I, I can't wait to see. Did this it. just happen? Yes, it's actively happening. Wow! Yeah. So he's he's not allowed to leave the country right now uh, because uh, is he being like hunted down right now. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. <laughs> so it's like the, a Jake Paul scenario. There's over there's streamers in other countries. It's wild that like Korea has their own IRL streamers as well. Makes Australia. total sense. Yeah, yeah. So they are like they have this among the Korean streamers it's a thing to hunt him down to find him watch his stream while they do yeah, a while they're also him. streaming <laughs> Damn, and dude. then kick kick the shit out of him oh like my physically God. oh assaulting. like assaulting that this yeah. is a black mirror type yeah black. you're right no you're right that's that actually would be a great episode of black mirror <laughs> <laughs> this this innocent American goes to not innocent, but I'm just fucking. Uh, well, I'm, I'm, I, for the episode, I feel like it'd yeah. be good if uh, he was all innocent and shit, and then he gets there. Johnny and- Somali <laughs> came to Korea with the obvious intention of making clickbait videos to promote his provocative yeah, channel. So he's like, However, the table seems to have turned as he is now being used to help Korean online streamers. See, generally he's been. Pre- he had a, okay. He has a huge bandage on his face. Johnny there. Somali came to Korea with the obvious intention of the making YouTube clickbait app. videos to promote his provocative channel. However, the table seems to have turned. Dude is dude has been fucked up. Oh man, you can't I, I, you can't make right. it bigger. I need I need a full. He is now being used Fucking to help a. Korean keeps, online like, streamers up the, the phone app After for no reason. <laughs> the oh, there we go. Streamer, assaulting Somali went viral. Many Korean YouTubers are seeking out the American in the hopes of causing an altercation oh, so they can either stream or even incite the scuffle. Where are Within you, South John? Korea, Johnny Somali is known as a Golden Goblin. Why does he look a so game goofy, of dude? To a creature whose park is when you kill them, you get rewards and loot. While many here think that confronting Somali. And exactly Damn. Yo, I'ma fuck Johnny Somali up If I see him, it's on sight, I don't care And then I'ma be like, bye And then go eat some noodles with my Korean guys And we're gonna go fly back to America and get high Yeah, my behavior in Korea appalling You might think that I'm Johnny Somali uh, I'm a fucking bad dude I'm streaming from here to fucking Beirut Hey, Johnny Somali Heard his bitch was kinda hot like Tamale, so I uh, hit it. It's Vitali. You know what I'm doing? Yeah, yeah in his Ferrari. That is some stuff Vitali would do. And Johnny Somali and th- th- probably wants him and his crew so they can go over to like uh, Timbuktu and be like, yo, fuck you, and do some other shit that's not rude. It's scarring the things that Johnny did when he pulled up to in a safari in a Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I gotta get better at this. Pulling up to a safari in a Ferrari is funny. <laughs> Yeah, you'll get there. You just got to do fucking 230 <laughs> you're episodes. Doing, <laughs> you're doing pretty good, I think. Yeah, be- better than, than some of our No, guys. no, I like how you're like fucking taking your time with it. Like the beat goes to you and you're like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Stoic. Yeah, dude. <laughs> seen as dispensing justice. Others are questioning whether it is right for people to take matters into their own hands on behalf of local police for failing to deal with Somali's antisocial behavior. Amidst this moral debate, a new report regarding Somali has generated attention. During one of his live streams, Somali shows two videos of him kissing a (laughs) few There's a part where he like does a deep fake of a Korean uh a streamer, and I guess she might be suing him or something. But it's, oh, for making it stuff seem about like, him. And this guy a, can't leave right now. Yeah, yeah, he's he's stuck there. Um, he was like forced to apologize, but he's not sorry. There's a there's other clips of him like straight up saying that like he hates 
the Asian people. And Damn, he dude. wishes that all Asians would be eliminated. Like he's he's straight up like the most xenophobic person on the planet. Why would he be doing that, especially from when he's there? <laughs> right. No, he can't leave, and well, he's saying, some, "Yeah, I don't know." Like, it's honestly, I, I, the the trolling. He's a really big streamer. I get, yeah, he gets right. like, and, and I mean, he looks like he's fucking twenty two. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. It makes sense. Yeah, and twenty two year a streamer. All yeah, right. <laughs> that were, I mean, it just doesn't make sense why it would um, be reasonable for someone to go all the way to Japan just to troll endlessly. Yeah, like that seems like such a sad way to travel. It's, I'm, it's like the type. Uh, it's like it's going weird. to the Holocaust Museum and having your chat do TTS out loud on your phone and being like Hitler, Hitler rules, Hitler rules, and or whatever like that. They look for that kind of like reaction. And yes. This is what you get on a, at a certain point. This type of reaction yeah. is what you get. He had to get out of Japan because, like, I mean, his only shtick was just talking about Hiroshima. Oh <laughs> that was all he would God. do. All he would do. And and it's eventually. crazy lifestyle. I don't get it. It's so brutal. hateful. It's weird. Like, how can you so have that weird. much negative energy inside of you? And, like, almost, because it almost seems like he does get, he, like, gets. Enjoys he, it? Yeah. He's, he's, like, happy being an asshole. Maybe he's just fucking really desperate to go viral and that's what's happening like it can't be like that that dude is right. just fucking a dick or maybe he is a dick but then also he's just desperate to be famous right which makes him a dick right i mean at that age i was probably a dick you know what i'm saying no like, but you wouldn't film yourself in korea making no no i was too i was too just, anxious i mean that would be crazy so, i wasn't <laughs> confident enough in myself to be that rude like this guy must have an enormous confidence yeah yeah to just walk around being yeah. an absolute asshole. It's straight up sociopathic. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're to like right. to like be like that to someone who you've never met before right. immediately. Like St- streaming is corny. Like to, oh, yeah, yeah. to me, streaming is just I get it because I don't get it. Here's, here's no, no I I get it in certain aspects. Like n- not gaming streaming. Like streaming gaming. Uh, I even get it sometimes if it's a t- interesting game and the person is skilled. So you're like, damn, this fool's killing it. But like if you if we were streaming this show and there were millions of people watching, I get that. Like you're watching yeah, yeah. something live because it's gonna end and whatever. There's, but but like the the streams that are like six hours or whatever. Yeah. What the fuck is going on? Yeah. Who's who's this for? Like what? It must be like high school kids or something. Like who has to, to have the time to just always be plugged into this stream or yeah. something? Like like, you're, like who, you're a security officer. You're a fucking. I've never met a delivery single, driver. I've never met a single person ever that has watched a single second of Kai Sinat. He's the biggest streamer on the well, planet. I, so I've watched clips. And you I, know? I've seen clips. No, I, yeah. I, I've seen clips. Like, like I've never yeah. watched his stuff, but his, I would say, I actually kind of see the point of it. I, I got it's nothing like against a new Kai. Radio, it's kind of like a new radio host. Like it, when a, someone for drops sure. an album, they kind of like go to someone like Kai Sinat. To, to promote. To promote it, so it's kind of like an interview. Well, it's just because the, the platform's so big, and not right. only that, it allows people to show themselves casually in a uncontrolled, uncensored context. So like, I, I get that part of it. Because if you if you go on we're, Jimmy Kimmel, we're we're, t- you're, you're, we're talking about like what you see is to other artists or whatever. I'm, I'm talking about like who's the kid that logs in is like I'm about to watch Kai right now. Watch the time go by. Yeah, my mom's at work and dad, I never met him. So I'ma watch Kai until I forget it. Yeah, I'm sitting on the back porch with no remorse, watching Kai Sinat wa- wa- ride a horse. Yeah, it's so weird that I'm sitting here. I'm not even old enough to be drinking beer. Hey, that kind of life must be so empty. Hey, why you streaming? You want an NFT? Woo. Shit. You know, I'm doing it so expertly. Hey, I'm hunting you down like Somali, bitch. Yo, hunting you down like Johnny. Yo, Kai would never be. That is, he's so polite, you see. He's a kind young man. Whereas this dude, Johnny, he needs to leave Japan and Korea and join the army. Feeling fly like I'm Kai. All right. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> that, that, like, all power to him. I just don't understand who is watching this for, like, the fan base. It must like it has to be like kids, right? right. Who's Someone who watching has... in episodes? Of yes. it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Because I, I, I can see know. clips, of yeah. course. Because there's gonna be something crazy there. Well, I think also the streams, like there are, 
uh, pulses in the stream. Like the stream is dead at the beginning, and then there's an influx, and people are watching the stream for like 40 minutes, and that's the fucking big chunk right. of audience, and then it dies down, right. and now there's only a handful of people. So I think there's like a, uh, a, a rhythm to the stream that by being there for a long time, you allow different people to come in and catch different vibes, especially when you have such a big platform and people recognize your personality and your character. And they're like, they feel like they're hanging out with you in your fucking living room every day. And now you're their friend. There's like this, there's yeah. a, a community it aspect be. to it. That's very unique, I think, but it, we don't get it. Right. I'm but, sure there's lots of kids who, do hang on, you know, watch it live. You yeah, you're a 16 year old, you're a fucking 15 yeah. year old, you're antisocial, maybe you're vaping a lot, you're inside, <laughs> you're hanging out with Kai, you know what I'm saying? Like, vaping makes me anxious. No, yeah. I'm just, yeah, I do not like my, vaping. My version of Kai Sinat was watching Smallville on my portable DVD player. Oh, yeah. That might be the worst TV show ever. <laughs> I believe I it. loved that show. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's kind of a, it's such a terrible, amazing show. It, it, it was. It's. I, I. I owned like the first six seasons, and as I was buying them as they were coming out, and I loved that show. So, that show so much, and then I went to film school, and then I like every now and then I'll catch like a clip of it or whatever, and it is the most melodramatic, yeah. corny. Like the it was the first CW show, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. Like how now CW has this reputation. Everything's like Smallville. I remember I. Just recently tried watching a couple episodes like a year ago. That's funny. And it's funny how much of a drama show it is and like z like barely any superhero shit at all. <laughs> it's like the worst show it's, 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 yeah. And I remember being a, a young teenage boy and being like, he's just like me for real, yeah, exactly. bro. I, I'm having these same high school problems. Exactly. <laughs> Damn, that's funny because uh, a superhero show nowadays is reversed. Like the drama is ten percent, and then it's just ninety percent action, yes. fucking yeah. shit. Um, um, I wonder what Tom Welling has been up to. What's lately. what's that? Sh the best? I think it's the best superhero film thing ever. The TV show. Oh, the called? boys. Yeah, yeah, that shit rules. In, yeah. my, in my opinion, it's the best superhero on media media i've ever seen really yeah i really i it's up there for me because of how like real it is with the whole fucking poli politics thing and then like right you celebrity know, how, thing. how evil they are and yeah. too like no one else is really depicted i guess watchmen depicted some like evil interesting superheroes that's somewhat right? yeah, yeah but i i think watchmen is up there too for like a really authentic superhero type of media and um the, the Christopher Nolan's Batman's to me are just a yes, standard yeah, for yeah, like yeah. The, the, what the, good movies are in general. The one with the Joker is probably, yeah, that's like probably the greatest. That's probably the greatest. That's the greatest. And, and then it's also the Gibbs is pretty sick too. Liam Neeson. Yeah, I always love Liam. And oh, the he, first he's, one. He's yeah, yeah. He's you're right. You're right. You're right. No, the first. Oh, one, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. When I also like an in-depth origin beginning. story, like because of how many movies are just like. Listen, we know Spider Man's already fucking Spider Man. We don't have yeah. to go through the Uncle Ben thing again. Except they keep doing it for some reason. Well, they do it less and less. Like I think now the, the they skim through it. The Spider Man that's in like the the new right. Realm, they always hop in. Middle. They're always just like, here he is. He's the hot guy that's fucking Zendaya or yeah. whatever. <laughs> the uh, in, we want we we, we we every now and then. Every now and then, David and I will go back and travel to 2000 and thrive and watch the trilogy of Sam Raimi's Spider-Man's Yo, they all taste greatly. Yeah, you know my boy Toby, he's the most dope dude. Yeah, he's the GOAT. He used to be fucking hanging around with webs and shit. Yo, it makes me feel excellent. Hey, like back in 2005, who the best Spider-Man? Tobey Maguire. Uh, hey, yeah, that boy was on fire. Upside down, make out such with what's her name? Ah. Low key, yeah. I would have fucked Mary, but honestly, Ursula from Apartment B. I would have gone over there and given her the chi-chi, cha-cha, I don't know what I'm saying. Bye-bye. Multiple women in those films uh, had a body that kills. Yeah, you know me, I've been feeling hella thrills, but the upside down in the rain, that brought me insane. <laughs> Amounts of joy. <laughs> yeah. Amounts of cum. Those are the best Spider-Man. No, no, and then the the other thing is the the mask comes off halfway kind of weird. It's kind of like a 
condom for his face. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so there's just like a bunch of it's so true. There's a bunch of sexual stuff <laughs> happening and it's then raining. Yeah, yeah. He just fought off a bunch of guys. <laughs> He's not wearing pants, you know. What I'm saying? Got tons of water up his nose. Yeah, yeah. That's just a fact. And her her nips are showing, you know, she's got a wet ass <laughs> oh, shirt on. Yeah. About that shit. No, yeah. Kirsten I mean, Dunst, right. yeah. That's that was it, yeah, back yeah. when they could just have straight up pokies in a PG thirteen. No, no, yeah. <laughs> and that really that was can't border. Do that anymore? I think it's yeah, you got it's not tasteful. now. <laughs> I think it's it's borderline, you know what I'm saying? But maybe it wasn't super obvious. If it's very obvious, then maybe, yeah, it's like... I, don't know. Right. I remember there's a movie, uh, my, my Boss's Daughter, with Ashton Kutcher and yeah. Tara, Tara Reid. Yeah. And there's a scene where uh, Carmen Electra oh. is coming out of a, a pool, and she has a wet white mm. t-shirt. Oh, and Carmen. it's just straight up... The, you see the breasts, areola, nipple, everything. What it's was that, PG-13? A, and that was PG-13. And Hell I was yeah, like, dude. Woo! <laughs> These 13-year-olds, they, they got to get something, you know? Yeah. At that Feel age. Something. At that age. Even Not getting it from Tara Reid, yeah. that's for sure. Um, dude, can we. Thank you, Carmen. This, yeah. is the, this is the later half of the show. Can we talk about that movie you and I saw? That you, you told me to watch fucking the substance. The substance, dude. I don't What's want that? to spoil it. Well, you don't have to spoil it for him. But fair you know. enough. Fair enough. You got to watch this movie, The Substance. It's it just dropped, uh, and I think it's on streaming. Um, uh, but very intense. Me and my girl watched it. What is it? Horror? It's oh. it's horror. Um, it's kind of weird though. It's like Dennis Quaid's in it. That's. Ren. <laughs> Fucking just the rookie. Well, okay, okay. So without <laughs> Is he the rookie? He's the rookie, yeah. Wow. Fucking... He's great in it too. I love Dennis Quaid in that movie. He plays he like a very him. asshole like Hollywood agent. Oh, I think they name him Harvey in the sh- in the show. Oh, too, like if, he's if fucking, I'm not mistaken. There's a Hollywood agent in it? Yeah, yeah. He's supposed in the horror to be film? Well, it's like a it's based in it, it's based in Hollywood. So it, it's based it's about like an aging actress who wants to figure out a way to re- revitalize her career and a mysterious organization uh, offers her a substance that could maybe help her out with it Ooh. and uh it's it's very like there's a lot of gruesome body horror stuff yes so if you're into like david cronenberg david cronenberg movies like that's something that you'd probably like what's a david uh, cronenberg movie david cronenberg uh he did the fly with jeff goldblum um, i haven't seen that he did to, uh, be, to be fair I don't watch a lot of horror. Fair um, enough, but it, there's it, certain ones that I that I do like. Well, a this lot. so this uh, it is true that there's categories of horror that I'm not as into. Like body horror stuff does kind of freak me out sometimes, and I'm like, I don't want to watch this. But is once that, you, is that sorry? Is that why in Rick and Morty those monsters are called yep, Cronenbergs? Yep. I, yep. didn't, I didn't realize that. You just fucking <laughs> put that together for me, too. <laughs> it's really funny. Uh, yeah, that, 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 I thought that was a fun joke that they did in real because oh, I mean, they're just, all like they're all gross. I and learn new things about shit. them every day. <laughs> yeah, no, that was there's like a there's a Cronenberg movie where like the guns are like alive and they're all fleshy and shit. And, oh, uh, you know, that's just straight up uh, what high on life. That game. They stole that. Rick and Morty got a lot of stuff from Cronenberg. Yeah. But yeah, um, movie rules. Yeah, the substance was very good. And if you like, oh, this was this is my only take on the substance that I that might even be remotely funny. Uh, <clears throat> so there's a lot of ass in the substance. <laughs> yeah, really? Because it's a lot. It's about like uh, like fetishizing youth, not like pedophilia, but like <laughs> yeah, like yeah. being young. Yeah, yeah. fetishizing that. Um, and so there's they're always showing this ass, uh, <laughs> and it's not a bad ass. Is, is, it, is, it, the, is it like the actress? In do you know it? Ma- yeah. Margaret Margaret Qualley? Is that her name? Margaret. I don't know. Right? Yeah, Not Margaret sure. Qualley. Uh, she, she has a very nice ass. But here's the thing: it's it's the baseline. Nice. So yeah, it's like a normal it's, like ass. Like, so it's nothing. It's not like here because I was like. If you're gonna, there ain't no black girls ass. I was like, yo, that that would be a fucking ass. Even, like, I was not like impressed. It you know was just what I mean? a vanilla. It's just a regular white lady's ass. Like it wasn't. It had like, some fat. It wasn't. Yeah, you know it was, what I it mean. It was. It was. It was a decent ass. I'm just. But, but the but the fact that they kept hanging on it and it was ever like you you were just always throughout the movie always yeah. five minutes away from a shot. What? Of yeah. 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 It's gonna come back to the ass eventually. Yo, you can set your watch by it, you see. But honestly, I wish that there was some ebony ass in this movie. Yo, that would be pleasing. Uh, I'm not saying it's inferior, but it wasn't the most high quality posterior. It could have been much better. It could have like been an ass that had to wear a sweater. Damn. 
Hey, let me hit you with the quickness. Hit Truth em. is a substance should have some more thickness. Damn. Hey, yeah, breaking records Guinness. That's what I'm sipping on too. Hey, get it. I need her to have a little more substance, Ooh. and it would be so thin. No, I mean thick, please. Yo, that would be me. I'm on my knees begging for the substance. Yo, give it to me, please. Uh, I need them glutes. Otherwise, this bitch, yeah, she gonna get the boot. boot. Yeah, you know me, I'ma move back to Beirut. Oh, shoot, I said hey. that again from the previous one, my friend. Beirut. <laughs> you been, have you been to Beirut? Uh, yeah, I think so. It's wow. less in Lebanon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I've been to like a couple Middle Eastern countries before oh. the shit went down. Um, back now, baby. How about this? Uh, uh, wait, baby, we'll make I'm black back. substance. Yeah. And it's the same it's But the it was same thick movie. as hell. And That's <laughs> actually genius. <laughs> And it's just only the shots of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. The substance is just cocoa butter. That's <laughs> yeah, funny. Um, uh, there's also a man's ass at one point. Really? Like, like a hairy man's ass. What? I mean, when she, when I, she's locked up in the bathroom and he like. Oh yeah, you're right. All of a sudden they just show his ass. I was like, ah! <laughs> decent ass. They, honestly. they got you. They got there's you. A lot of good ass. They, they show you ass the whole movie yeah. and then they throw that yeah, <laughs> without that. asking. Uh, ah, they um, he it, it, honestly the guy's ass was pretty good. He's just hairy as fuck. Right, so, <laughs> dude, dude, dude got a good butt. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I, can, like, I can recognize. It was better than her. It was better. Than I got a, I got a bad ass. I don't got a great <laughs> ass. I've always been jealous of dudes with a little a little ass. Yeah, so don't be reserved for women. I sh- I feel like there's some exercises we could do to get our glutes. No, yeah, I, I, I hit just, the fucking the squats, right? I, no, no, you got to hit like. Uh, I do I, stairs. The stairs is stairs not bad. You got to do hip thrusts. Where you're like sitting here and then you push oh, your hip out. That's funny because just very sexual. I have been doing that because I hear it's a good back exercise. It's good for your it's good <laughs> yeah. for your lower back and for your ass. But right. they um well, at, at, at a I'm nice, write that down. At a nicer gym, they'll have like the thing and then it, it comes down and then you. You're talking about the assistant. Then <laughs> it's a, the machine. It goes on your on your waist and then you bring your hips down. Like a weight. Oh a yeah, weight. It's, it's like a pad and it's attached to weight and then as you go down. Uh, and then when you lift, you squeeze your fucking butt up here. Interesting. Yeah. No. I gotta get on that. I wish that like it could just be some sort of like, like gel pool, like in the Matrix or something. You just get in there, and then just does the work for you. And then you come out just jacked. Yeah. <laughs> how can, how can, why haven't we perfected that yet? Yeah. 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 No, I do want to get plugged in and learn shit like right. that. You know, I know kung fu. Yeah. Yeah. That right. shit's Matrix cool. Style. No, I mean, I guess, I guess we kind of do that by having the phone. So, like, the it's just a matter of... An com- element of that, yeah. It's a, it's a matter of communicating with the phone more effectively. But that's what fucking that Neuralink shit is. Are you guys going to get that? I, I'll get it eventually. What, yeah? That, how, how much you want to bet we all already have it and we don't even know it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> we got... God damn. We, we got, like, a, we caught a version of Neuralink. Bluetooth. Right. Shit's in my ear and right. then the info's coming in. Yeah, right, it's not exactly the same, but apparently, like, it's gonna be one of those things where eventually you'll be an inferior member of society, right? Because you don't have it. Like other people will be like, like you, for a fact, that's gonna happen. Well, I don't know for. A, I mean, obviously, but, but it's I'm not saying, a fact. What, but but I'm saying, like, well, that seems like that's the most logical way to roll it out is in the same because that's like how marketing is done. They want you to make you right. feel like you're missing something, right? Well, no, if you but, don't have the new technology. It's the same thing with the smartphone right now. Like, if you don't have a smartphone, you are literally that's like a caveman. You deserve yeah. to die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, no, like if you don't have a smartphone, like the government will give you one. Like there's programs. Yeah, it's true. To where it's like. <laughs> It's so important for you true? to have a as long, yeah. as, as long as you promise to never turn it off and <laughs> that's keep the really microphone funny. on. I didn't even know that. There's like a, there's this whole thing Here called the, the Obama phone. You ever heard of that? No. Bro, I used, like... I used to work at a Verizon store for like years and people would come in and be like, hey, I got this Obama phone. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, they mailed it straight to my home. Oh, oh Lord. Oh, Lord. I got the Obama phone and it's my favorite thing. Hey. I got the Obama phone and I love it every time that it rings. Hit me up on my Obama phone, please. Yo. If you do, yo, I'm at home. If you hit me up, please dial my line. Yeah, Obama phone, I'm feeling fine. My Obama phone, you got it, it boost. No, I did not. <laughs> got it ever rising true. Yeah, my Obama, O B A M A. I'm at the Obama phone store today. Uh.
Brit, who's calling Obama? Hey, Brit, who's calling your mama? Hey, yeah, I'm just in my pajamas. Hey, on a PJ to Bahamas. Hey, <laughs> in my PJs in my mama phone and I'm sipping OJ. Yeah, 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 I'm feeling so great. Yeah. Obama phone dial 773. Uh. 773 for the Obama me. And I Obama you and I Obama three. Three, two, one, let her Obama fun. And I don't give a fuck if it don't when I'm done. <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Uh, I think that was my favorite one so far. Yeah, no, the Obama <laughs> phone shit it was it was kind of crazy. Made a banger in like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's oh, money, God. fool. Um, oh, let me read you the producers <laughs> real quick. That beat was that beat was fucking sick, dude. <laughs> that beat was crazy. Um, I yeah, really. Where, where are these beats from? Yeah, I'm gonna I'll tell you right now. Well, we go on YouTube and take these uh, as if they're ours. They're cool. not. They're available for free nice. for nonprofit use, which is exactly what we're doing we're not profiting directly on these <laughs> mediums and we were once we got bread we'll pay you uh yeah, does that's right just get, get us an iou we got yeah, yeah right now we're just shouting you out and you know sometimes they already have the copyright thing built yeah. in so they get to claim their own dues dust settles by lethal needle don't look up by stoic smoke signals by lex factor lucky by manuel rich man by sabi nothing ever lasts by docent it's kind of sad uh dancing in the rain by that kid goron Bloodline by B. Frankie and Defecto by Distro. Bloodline. Good show. Sick. Boom. What do you got coming up, dude? Um, I'm dropping new music for the first time in a minute. Um, I'm going on tour again with oh, Distant yeah, yeah. Cousins and Matis Yahoo in December. Sick. Um, Anything in L.A.? There, the show in L.A. Uh, from the tour is sold out right now. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, I mean that's good, but but there's yeah, one yeah, right. at the, <laughs> there's one in Santa Ana at the Observatory okay. that I don't think is sold out yet. Oh, I, I'm I'm really not sure. And Solana Beach are like the closest to LA. Gotcha. Um, and but I, I'm I am gonna do my own show. Um, you know, just a single show very soon, top of the year. Hell yeah! So I'll definitely let you guys know. Oh, hell yeah. yeah! Hell yeah! I'm gonna put all of. Uh, Kobe's links in the description, but for the listeners, can you let them know what your like plug uh, your plugs are? Like your where people can follow handles. You? Oh, my handles is Kobe Jones TV. Um, anywhere you ser- anywhere you search Kobe Jones TV, and that's with a C. Yeah, C C O B E. It sounds like a reggae artist, low key. <laughs> Kobe Jones. Kobe Jones. <laughs> Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, <laughs> like and subscribe, leave a comment. And if you enjoyed, say with a Jamaican accent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it sounds like the boy Kobe hey, Jones. Kobe Jones, Jones. The track. <laughs> John is. If you enjoyed this, you probably enjoy the content over at patreoncom slash domabanfamania. We're gonna record uh, another 45 minutes after this. You're more than welcome to stay if you if you have time. Um, what else, my guy? Uh, hey, it's uh, interesting climate out there, folks. Keep your heads up high, and you know. Don't be delusional out there. You know what I'm saying? That's right.